Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions and today I'm gonna to show you how to get a Unify Intercom to call lots of users via the Unify Access app. So this is, rather than doing it through a Unify viewer, we're getting it to call the Unify Access app and this is all about cost saving. So I'm gonna show you a quick scenario and then I'll go into setup and then I'm gonna give you a couple of little niggles about this type of setup. Okay, so this is a pretty basic drawing I've done here, but hopefully you'll understand. So we've got our Unify Intercom connected to an Access Hub. The Access Hub is connected to the lock, so the Intercom can control the lock on this door. And this door is providing access to these flats. So we've got six flats here, but this could be 60 flats, 100 flats, however many flats you want it to be. All of them need to get access through this door, and they want to be able to answer calls from the Intercom. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. Now one way would be to use a uh, intercom viewer. So this is the way that Unify want you to do it. So essentially each flat would have an intercom viewer in it. And when you called on there, it would answer, they'd answer it in their flat on the intercom viewer. The problem with this is that often we would be replacing an analog system. So effectively every single cable that is already installed is of no use to us. We need to install new cabling. So we install CAT6 or data cabling into each flat and then get that back to a network switch to provide PoE and then have that connecting back to the network. So there's a lot of work involved in putting an intercom viewer in. Now on six flats, it wouldn't be too bad, but if you had 60 flats, that's an awful lot of work and an awful lot of cost, both in equipment, labor, all the rest of it, it's gonna get very expensive very quickly. So you could quite easily put a lot of people off with that. So another option is, and this is really a cost saving option, you can have the setup here, so you've got the Unify Intercom, you've got the Access Hub and the door, and then you can have the Intercom call all of these people on their mobile devices. So either a phone or a tablet, it can come through to them on the Unify app every time that someone calls at this door. And that is a much, much cheaper way of doing it. As long as these people are happy to use the app and only the app, then you're not gonna have a problem with doing it this way at all. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly how you can figure that. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set up a Unify uh, talk phone. So a Unify uh, VoIP phone. And we're gonna pretend that we've got a concierge service here. So basically the guy can sort of lady can sit down in reception, answer the calls as well as these people with their mobile apps. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm in my Unify Access and these are the two bits of kit I've got. So I've got the uh, Unify Access Hub, which I've just called Gate Intercom, and then I've got the Unify Intercom, and that's it. So basically the Access Hub is controlling the lock and possibly a push to exit button. And we haven't got any other equipment at all. This is powered by Period Plus Plus, and then that's connected back to the network. I've also got a Unify Talk phone, but that's up in Talk, and I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit later. So... If you wanna add users to your intercom, then the most logical thing to do is to go to users. So if you go to users and you can add your users in here, but actually this is a bit of a red herring. When you add this type of user, the only thing that they will be able to do is to open the door with either a pin or via NFC, either via Unify NFC card or via a third party NFC. They can't access it via the Unify Access app because you're not linking their account. You're not inviting them to uh, to the console. You are just literally giving them a pin and a card. So their access is very restricted. They're literally just able to get into whichever doors you assign to them. So to add the kind of user that is able to open the door and receive calls via the Access app, you need to go to the OS settings. Now, for anyone who does Unify a lot, this feels very wrong, what I'm about to do here. But believe me, this is the only way you can do it. So in your list of admins, and you can see that I've got myself and then I've added two other accounts that I've got to show you in demonstration purposes a lot quicker that I've already set this up rather than show you in the video. But I will show you how it's done. So in your admins, you go across to the add admin. And then you can put in your Unify account email here or the, or the user's Unify account email. They must have a Unify account before you do this. Otherwise, it's going to be very complicated. So I would just get them to set up a Unify account before they do this or before you do this. Put it in there. And then you're going to go down to, you don't want restrict local access only. You go to use uh, untick use uh, predefined roles. 
And then you're gonna go down these options. So you're gonna say none to network, we're gonna go none to talk and none to OS. And then on access, we're gonna to go to door attendant. And then if you're gonna be doing lots of these, you can save that to predefined role and you can just call out whatever you want, you know, door access or user or whatever you wanna call it. But just so you don't have to keep uh, ticking all these boxes every time. So that's what I've done with these two here. The other one is the, my admin account, so I don't need to do anything on that at all. So once you've got all your users in here, then you can go back into Access and start setting that side up. This is how you get them in. So just remember that, OS settings, admins. Right, so now go back to Access. And when you're back in Access, you need to go to Caller Manager. So we go to Caller Manager, and what you'll see is you'll see your intercom. And if you hover over it, you get this Manage Directory. So let's click on Manage Directory. So you've got your administrator by default. You can change that and change the code if you want to. But let's just create some new stuff. So let's say we're doing a block of flats. I've got three users, so I'm gonna do flat one. Call it one. Flat two. And number two. Flat three. Uh, oh, number three. Okay. this. What I'm typing in here is what you will see on the intercom screen. So you don't wanna put names in here unless you specifically want names. This would normally be flats or addresses of some kind. You don't necessarily wanna put in anyone's personal details into this bit, it's, it's kind of generic. Okay, so once you've done added all the ones you wanna add, then you can click save and you'll see them appear here. And they will have also appeared on the intercom already, although currently they're not doing anything. So once you've done, you've put them in here, what you need to do is go across to add actions. So we go to add actions, and then if you were putting Unify uh, viewers in, then this is where you would see your Unify viewers, and you could link that flat to the viewer. You're also able to use a Unify Protect Chime for an audio um, notification of, a, of someone ringing a bell, so effectively it's like a doorbell. But if you want to get them to go through the app, then you need to go to admins, and then find the account that you associate with that flat. So in this one, I'm gonna use flat one, this account. We'll add that. And then we're gonna go flat two, add action. We're gonna add the other one. And then flat three, we're gonna add this one. And that's it. So we've got a user associated to each flat. So what will happen now on the intercom is you will see all these flats. So I'll just show you that now and I'll show you how you can call someone. Okay, so here we've got the intercom and we've got the iPad and the iPad has got access installed on it and I've signed in to the account associated to flat three. So basically I can go to the intercom, press directory, find flat three, which is just there. You can also search at the top, I can see it there. So tap on that, press call. And then you'll see that pop up on the iPad. So you're able to answer that call on the iPad. I'm not gonna do that now because I'm gonna get horrendous feedback on the mic but that is how you do it. Okay, so now you've seen that, the next part I'm gonna show you is how the Unified Talk side works. So how to get it to ring a phone. So if I go across to Talk, I've got a subscription unlocked phone here. So I've got a Touch Max um, subscription unlocked. So I haven't got a Unify uh, Talk uh, contract with this at all. It's just literally a subscription unlocked phone. If you try to use uh, subscription lock phone without subscription it will not work you have to either use a subscription phone with a subscription or an un unlocked phone like this one okay and I haven't done anything other than adopt that phone and assign it to myself this is the admin account that's the only thing I've done in talk you don't need to do any of the settings in this at all it's just assigning it to that user so now I'll go back to access so flat one is associated to that account. So it's the same account, flat one has got the phone on it. So basically what you need to do to get this flat to call that phone associated to me is you need to log in to access on the phone and then you'll be good to go. That's all you need to do. So I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so this is nice and simple. Just select this button down here, select access, then select local device, find the device, select that and then just log into your account. Okay, so in this one we've got the Unify Intercom and then a Unify Talk Phone. And basically this is signed in to Flat1. So the admin account I've assigned to Flat1. So if I just tap this, go to directory, go to Flat1, press call. 
It's actually coming through on my computer as well because I'm signed in there. But you can see it coming through on the phone. Okay, so that was pretty simple. There is one thing that I want to mention which is a bit of an irritation actually. So basically, every single user is an admin. And because they're an admin, they get notified about what's happening with the door. So if you call flat one, then the call will only go through to the flat one uh, user, but flat two and flat three will receive a notification via the app to tell them that a call came to that door, which is really irritating because effectively every single time any of those flats gets a call, even though it's not to them, they still get notified that something has happened at that door. And that's because they're an admin. So, you know, on maybe like five or six flats, that's not gonna to be too bad. If you've got 100 flats, all those notifications are gonna be coming through all the time, every single time someone com comes to that door and rings the doorbell, which is could be really pretty irritating. I'm pretty sure there's not a way of turning that off. I am gonna look into it, and if I find a way, then I'll put it in the comments. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.